Now to be able to chip well, judge distances well, and improve one's up and down percentage, it's crucial that one is able to achieve 100% um, contact success rate. What do I mean by that? So we're all really good at our practice swings. Uh, the bounce of the club, brushes above, uh, along the ground, feels great. But as you know, it's a different story when the ball's there, when we've got to chip the ball. Now, if I'm scared of hitting this ball fat, now the ground's quite soft, there's a little mound to hit over, then I really will not con have consistent success at this so important shot. If you have little divot, but you often hit the ball with the leading edge, then I suggest that you do the following. Um, keep your weight on your left side. Make sure that your right shoulder is up. You don't want to stand this way. So when I say keep your weight on your left side, move your whole body to the left. Um, your shafts allow to lean slightly forwards towards the target. Uh, ball in the middle is fine. You can also play it slightly right, but I find in the middle is fine. Um, now all you, you need to think about is make your back swing, keep your hands as quiet as possible, swing st straight back and not around, and then from that position just drop the club. Allow gravity to work for you. Okay, so very important is the setup that you left, not that, that way, sort of straight left, and swing back and allow gravity to bring the club down into the ball, into the ground. You really have to trust the loft to get the ball up into the sky. Now, a lot of golfers suffer from fat chips. Uh, if you one of them, then I suggest uh, you do the following. Instead of swinging downwards too much, that's exactly what I advised uh, people who top the ball, you gotta, you got to do something different. Make a few practice swings and try and swing more around. So in, instead of straight back and down, swing s with a slight rounded move. You notice I'm not doing that or anything. I'm swinging around and a very important um, swing thought to have is, is that you're not swinging downwards at all. Uh, instead, you are pushing the ball with your right hand or with a club face towards the target. So I'm chipping that way, not that way. Okay, and then if you do that, then, okay, I'm actually pushing the club up this little hill. I'm swinging more around myself. There's just no ways that you can hit the ball fat. So I'm pushing the ball towards the target. Okay, instead of doing that. Um, every time you see a golf course, you drive by with your car and there's a little practice area. Stop your car. Uh, you need to have your wedges with you all the time or your 9989 nine, and go and chip. Because the more you chip, the more you'll learn about your own game. And use my advice, please, to help you. Thanks for watching.